A lot of what we use math for is for measuring distances, but we want to make sure that a distance represents a positive number. It doesn't matter if I'm going east or west or north or south, whatever distance I'm going, I'm traveling a positive, positive amount of miles or feet or meters or whatever it is. Distance is a positive idea. So in math, we have a special way of representing distance away from zero, and that's called an absolute value. A number's distance from zero is called its absolute value. And again, the absolute value will always be positive because distance is a positive number. For example, I've drawn here a number line, and if we want to look at the number three, and we're saying how far away from zero is three, I would say, well, one, two, three units. So the way I notate that with absolute value is like this. Absolute value of three is equal to three units. But from zero, I could also travel to the left. I could also go in the other direction. Still three units. So my absolute value of negative three is also equal to three. That's what I mean by distance away from zero. I could be traveling this way or that way. It doesn't matter. I'm going three units. And the way we notate absolute value is these two vertical lines. So the key idea is when you're working with absolute value is that because it's a distance, your answer should always be positive. Even if I'm moving from negative three to zero, that's a positive distance that I'm traveling, so that's a three. Same thing, positive three distance away from zero, still positive three. And we're gonna practice using that idea with some different problem types as well. And by two, I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it, work it. So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> That should be less than. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right. So when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of working. You're going to be starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two um, two fix. Yeah. 